Hi, my name is Jasmine Aguilera. I'm a reporter at Time Magazine where I cover immigration. Um, a big thank you to Martin Crumming and the folks at the Community News Project for inviting me to share a few thoughts on um, remaining objective and fair while gathering information and telling stories. Um, my first thoughts on this are really um, that it's important to go into the news gathering process by first acknowledging that we are all human and therefore we already have inherent biases built within us. Um, I've, I've found that a good reporter doesn't ignore those biases, but acknowledges that those biases exist and, and uses them actually as a tool to figure out what blind spots may still exist in your own reporting and news gathering process. Um, I think, you know, it's, it's important to be a responsible reporter. Responsible reporters will do that. They will um, acknowledge that they are not, uh, one, an expert at everything, at every detail. They, they go around asking questions, 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 gathering as much information as possible, and then determining where their own biases or view of the world may be skewing that information gathering process. So asking even more questions and inquiring even more about, um, about where they might be missing certain bits of information or perspectives. Um, I've always had really great editors who, um, who have you've been very, very open and honest about the fact that it can be really challenging to be an objective person. Um, individuals aren't inherently objective. We are human beings with opinions and um, are impacted by what we see in the world. So pretending to be objective is a little challenging. It's, it, it's better instead, um, which is I think the best advice I've been given by my editors. Um, it's better instead to ensure that you're telling a fair and balanced story. Um, you can acknowledge your own biases personally as an individual um, while still ensuring that the reporting that you're sharing with the world is objective and fair and balanced. And you do that through practicing and through asking questions from every person you can think of that has a uh, stake in the story that you're telling. Um, and often their, their perspectives, including their opinions, including their thoughts or the ways that they're impacted will really build out a more complex, nuanced uh, story that will only service your readers or audience, whoever it is that you're sharing this, these, um, this information with. Um, yeah, thank you for allowing me to speak.